Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Randy here, RTSMobile.com, bringing you a quick video for Warhammer Chaos and Conquest. This morning, we're going to hit some tier three troopies uh, and troop combinations. That's the point of this building. The, I mean, this uh, video, sorry. So, over the last week, ever since I published the RTS Mobile Guide for which tier three troops are strongest and why, along with some mathematical data to back it up, I've had a lot of requests for okay, now that I know what's the strongest, what combinations do I want to send? So first things first, let's get right to it. Pink Horrors of Tzitz, you can train at level 11. Their damage isn't terrible, 475. They're also somewhat tanky, not terrible units. Uh, definitely train them at level 11. They're going to give you an edge until you hit level 14 and you start training Chaos Giants, okay? Um, Chaos Giants are available at level 14, and so are the Plague Bearers of Nurgle. Uh, Plague Bearers of Nurgle are a decent troop. If you've seen my Nurgle optimization video, there's a couple different things you can do to optimize for Nurgle. And you can actually make these Plague Bearers of Nurgle extremely strong. Um, but that is, uh, that requires a lot of optimization and a lot of work. Um, check that video out. We're going to skip that for now because without doing those, you know, a uh, uh, ton, ton of work to get that all set up, it's not, not a great build. So let's jump right to it. Chaos Giants, level 14, monstrous beasts, okay? These guys are god mode. They are so strong, especially at level 14. Their tankiness is insane. Their damage is on the low end. But their tankiness is uh, the strongest in the game all the way up until you get to tier 4. So 32 armor and 1800 health, super duper strong, okay? Wonderful. Um, next, next troop that you're going to get. You're going to get the Chaos Ogres at level 15, okay? These are monstrous infantry. They are ranged. Their damage is way better than the Chaos Ogre. They also have good tankiness. I mean, the Chaos Giant. And then the uh, other troop you're getting at level 15 is the Hell Cannon, which is the strongest tier 3 damage, also relatively tanky. The strongest tier 3 damage until you get to level 20, and you can start training Chaos Warriors. So, the goal here for you should be to get to level 15 as fast as you can, so you can start training. Um, well, get to level as fast as you can. You can start training these pink horses each while you work your way up to 15. Get to 15 as soon as you can. When you're at 15, you're going to be training Chaos Giants, okay? You're going to be training um, Chaos Ogres, and you're going to be training Hell Cannons, okay? Now, two of these three units go together. Okay, two of these three units go together, and it is the Hell Cannon and the Chaos Giant because they share their monster archetype. So when we go to our champion skills and we look at the monster archetypes, okay, it's going to be, you know, when I select this, my monsters, monstrous beasts, and war beasts. So those three uh, uh, units kind of fall into the monster archetype, and they get bonuses from the monsters, okay? So when I put my points into my champion skills, uh, my Hell Cannon is going to share bonuses with my Chaos Giants. So what does that mean, Randy? Well, I'll tell you what. That means that you're going to want to send Chaos Giants and Hell Cannons together. How many? That's a good question. Great, I'm glad I asked myself that. Um, since the Chaos Giants do uh, mediocre damage, right, the uh, Hell Cannons do like 30% more damage than the Chaos Giants, right? What's uh, 750? Uh... Uh, whatever. It's unimportant, okay? But the Chaos Giants are the tanks. So you want to do two things here. One, you want to send enough Chaos Giants where they're not going to fail a morale test or they're not going to lose enough so they fail a morale test. Or you can get the morale up to 100 and then you don't have to care about it. But you're going to want to send enough Chaos Giants so that they can cover the front line uh, for your Hell Cannons. Because your Hell Cannons, if there's no front line in front of them, they are going to have... Uh, they're going to be converted to melee, and they're going to be doing uh, 60 damage with 30 attack, which is this stat right here. They're going to be doing 60 damage versus attacking at range when they do 750 damage, okay? It's a big difference, so you want to keep sure, uh, make sure the Hell Cannons stay ranged. So the optimal combination, let's say you have 100,000 troop march, you want to send 15 to 20,000 Chaos Giants, and, you know, 80, 85,000 uh, Hell Cannons, Okay. Your optimal warlord with that march is going to be your mounted, exalted hero. And I'll tell you why. He's going to give your giants 
a health bonus and an attack bonus, and he's going to give your uh, your hell cannons a damage bonus. Now that damage bonus is extremely significant for ranged troops, 35%, uh, because the hell cannons damage is so much higher. Uh, his benefit from that 35% is going to be much greater than, say, if you're using a uh, hero that gave 30%, uh, 35 percent melee damage. Okay, so um, that's th that's the goal. 100,000 troops, send 15,000 giants, 75,000 cannons, send out mounted exalted hero. If you're expecting to have more than 15,000 losses, send out more giants. Okay, if you're attacking somebody who's really close to your power and your strength, and you're going to lose a lot of troops. And probably send out 30 to 40,000 giants. You have to make sure your hell cannons stay at range. As soon as they go melee, they're useless. Okay? So that's build one. I'm calling that the monster build. Okay? Build two. I'm sure you've seen plenty of my videos. Uh, keep level 15. Blood Crushers of Corn. These guys are also insanely strong troops because their melee attack stat is super good. Okay? They are not quite as strong as hell cannons and damage. Their damage output will be less than hell cannons. They're also not quite as tanky as giants. Their, 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 their toughness will be less than the giants. So your giant hell cannon combo should have a slight edge over the flesh hounds of corn. I mean, sorry, over the, the, the blood crushers of corn. The one cool thing about the blood crushers of corn is they benefit from uh, a, a very strong uh, corn warlord who gives them melee damage morale morale bonus and health bonus so this actually uh, uh puts them up pretty close to uh to the hell cannon giant combination as long as you have your rituals figured out we go down to the daemonic rituals and you can see that through corn rituals i can have another 25 percent attack to corn right another 15 percent armor bonus to corn and then we can come down here and get another, you know, at the end of the day, 8% damage. You're only going to have 6% because you're not going to max it out. 6% damage to corn and then, a, you know, 6% health. So with those bonuses, uh, you know, you, and if you have the level 20 chest piece that gives health to corn, as you can see here, corn health bonus, 10.5%. Um, there's a couple things you can do to really make your corn... Uh, excel and be super strong. I'm just going to show you my corn bonuses. So my corn actually has a lot of uh, a lot of bonuses uh, that will bring them up close to the giant hell cannon combinations of strength. So um, the corn are super strong. If you want to use them instead, they're not quite as strong as the uh, as the giants and the hell cannon combination. And again, if you are sending uh, blood crushers of corn I would actually recommend sending like 5,000 giants with them just so the giants take the damage first they are a lot more tanky even with these bonuses um, and then just go pure corn okay so that's the second combination we got the monster combo boom we got the we got the corn combo boom the last combo I want to talk about the reason why you started training these chaos ogres at level uh, 15 even though you're not going to use them until you're level 20 is because at level 20, these Chaos Ogres are going to get some use. Okay, not a ton of use, but they're going to get some use. Um, Chaos Warriors, you're going to train these Chaos Warriors starting at level 20. These guys are the strongest tier 3 troop in the game. They have massive damage, 1,000 damage, 37 attack. They're also relatively tanky. Um, so these guys are super duper god mode. You are definitely going to want to send Chaos Warriors as the front line. And then you're going to want to send... Out of 100,000 troops, you're going to send 80,000 Chaos Warriors, 20,000 Chaos Ogres, so you can make use of the ranged damage against broken troops. Okay? Uh, when you send out the Warriors, you're going to want to send out the Warlord, the Mount Exalted Hero, uh, because your melee attack is so strong uh, that it's your, your, your 37 melee attack is going to get such a big bonus from this 35% attack bonus. And then, of course, your ranged troops, your Chaos Ogres, are going to get that 35% um, increased damage. So they are going to be very strong with this uh, Mounted Exalted Hero. So that's it. Let's keep this video short, under 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. I love you guys long time. Um, stay tuned for more. And uh, Randy out.